Hey guys, welcome to the video, and here today we're going to cover uh, a few things regarding Webman Mod, including the installation of the Webman Mod onto your CFW. For those of you who are using uh, the newest rebug, which as of right now is 4.82.1 Lite, which doesn't come with Webman. And by the way, the future releases of rebug, if there is any, uh, they won't come with Webman either, so you might want to keep this video handy so you can refer to it. Um, in case you know something's released in the future and you want to add webman to it, but um, <clears throat> we're going to cover how to delete uh, webman from your system as well. Not only that, but this is not just for 482 rebug. This can work on any version of rebug or any CFW as long as you have Cobra enabled. And I'm going to show you how to delete it and then install it. Not only that, but you can even go back to an older version of Webman mod if you want and use an older version that maybe is more stable, maybe has less bugs if you're experiencing problems. Um, and if that doesn't work, you can refer to the first section of this video, which will show you how to delete everything. And then you could try another version of Webman mod and so on. So again, it doesn't have to be the new rebug. You can do this even on the old ones. I'll show you what steps you're going to have to take. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, now the first step here is for those of you who have added the CFW Extras mod onto your XMB. Um, this is only for those of you who've done this. So if you have this CFW Extras column here, um, and you've added the Webman Games folder, the first thing you're going to have to do, for those of you who have done it, is go into Setup, uh, go into Disable Add-ons, look for the Webman Games uh, .xml entry, just hit Triangle, and I usually go to Delete Folder, I press X, and then I go to Delete and I press X. You're not going to see anything happen or any confirmation, it's no problem, just wait a few seconds, circle uh, back out of it and then reboot your system and that's only for those of you who have installed the CFW extras now once you've rebooted we're back here now for everyone from here on out if you have um, rebug that comes with webman then you need to go into your rebug toolbox and you are going to need to disable webman from your a rebug toolbox and then go ahead and reboot now once you've done that you should not see your webman games folder uh, here anymore at that point we'll go ahead and we will all right so once the webman games folder has disappeared you're gonna go ahead and if you have the webman mod entry on your XMB, you're going to go to it, just hit triangle and go ahead and hit delete and delete that as well. Now for this next step, we're going to go into the file manager. Uh, those of you who are going to do this via FTP can just follow along via FTP. All right, so now we're here at the multi-man uh, file manager, but again, you can follow via FTP or using any file manager you'd like. Uh, we're going to go into dev hdd0 and uh, while we're here we're going to go into uh, game the game folder not games the game we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, the webman mod folder is usually called upd web mod so when you delete it from the xmb it should delete from here and you shouldn't see it so as you can see um, i don't have it here okay so I deleted it from the XMB right before I came into here, so it's gone. We want to make sure that it's gone. Now we're going to scroll down to plugins. We're going to double click in there and we're going to make sure that any file that says web FTP uh, server SPRX is gone. So the web FTP Sprix file we want to make sure is gone. Basically, it will look like this. Let me um, bring my files up here. <clears throat> okay, well. All right, and it'll look like this. So if you have a web FTP server Sprix file in there, you may want to go ahead and delete that. Actually, you need to delete it. Also, if you have any files in there that begin with the letters WM, which usually stand for Webman, um, make sure they get deleted as well. Now we're going to go back out. We're going to scroll down a bit here into the TMP folder. And then here in the TMP folder, we're going to delete any and all files that begin with the letters WM. 
So for example, I'm not going to do it because I have mine set up the way I want, but this is how you do it on yours. Click on here like WM language, there's WM temp. If we scroll down a bit more, there's WM config, WM custom combo. And whether it's a file or a folder, it doesn't matter. As long as it starts with WM, you highlight them all and then just uh, delete them. All right. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do there in this folder. Now we're going to go back out. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom and we are going to delete the entire XML host folder. Once you've deleted that folder, if by chance you have a file here that's called boot plugin text, um, you can probably go ahead and delete it, but you can double click on it. This will actually show you uh, the text file. It'll display it. Um, and basically, what you're looking for in the text file, which is called boot plugins text, is to see if you have an entry that's called web FTP server spricks. That's probably the only entry you'll have in there. If it is, you can actually delete the entire boot plugins text file. You can just delete it all. So once you've done that, I usually like to just at this point reboot the system. And then I'm taken back to the XMB, and at that point, you can go ahead and install whichever version of WebMem mod you want. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, let me go ahead and show you now where you need to go in order to find the different versions of WebMem. All right, guys, so I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you here to the WebMem uh, GitHub page. And this is where all the present and past Webman mods um, reside. Basically, you're going to find the one you want. And here's the most current, 147.06. And it will uh, the updater package will usually be right around here in the middle of the uh, section. And it'll say the number um, followed by updater.pkg. Usually, if you see these below it, these are the exact same thing, except they just come with pre-installed themes. Um, you can you know, install whichever one that you like. If it doesn't work out for you, go back to the beginning of this video and then just follow all the steps all over again to properly delete everything. And then you can come back here and maybe pick an older one um, if you're having issues. The one that I use is 145.09, which is actually the one that comes with uh, Rebug 4.81.2. And um, I usually don't have any issues with that one. And I believe it's here on the second page. Uh, it's right there. Um, and that's the one that I use. But it comes, you know, with the stock Rebug 481. And uh, I think 145.10 and 145.11, if I remember right, I think they work pretty good too. But, yeah, so you can try them out and, uh, and, and you know, see how they work for you. Anyway, when you download the package file and install it, You'll be here at your XMB. You'll see the WebMem mod uh, icon here. And then I strongly suggest that you install the full version, which means that when you're here and you press X, after you press X, when you see the screen go dark um, or go black, just make sure you hold down L1 and keep holding it down so the PS3 reboots. That way the full version of WebMem mod installs. If you have a rebug, if you're using this on an older version of rebug that does come with WebMem mod, Continue to leave WebMem mod off in the rebug toolbox. You don't need to turn it back on. What happens when you do it this way is that it will install as a separate plugin, which is really the way it was meant to be installed. For those of you that um, are using like the newer rebug, which doesn't come with WebMem mod, then you don't have to worry about turning it on in the toolbox. But if you're using the older version, just leave it off. And then for those of you who are using the CFW extras, once you've installed whichever version of WebMem mod you want, you can then come back here, go into the setups, go into enable add-ons, um, go into game directory, and then go ahead and install the WebMem games folder. You may need to reboot the system, and then the WebMem games folder should reappear. Those of you who don't have this mod installed, then don't worry about it. Right? And that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, it's always a good idea whenever you do a fresh install of your Webman once you've brought back the Webman games folder and everything, um, just go into the setup. And by the way, yes, my icons are different because I've changed them. I'll show you how to do that later on. Anyway, go into the Webman setup 
and uh, I always recommend that you do the refresh um, XML okay and that way your game um, uh, list will be updated and then it'll ask you to reboot and then just reboot your PS3 so you should always do that right after you've installed a fresh install of webmem mod all right guys hopefully this was able to help you out don't forget as always thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time